face. So you face each other and get her bouquet. There you go. You may be seated. Make sure I don't fall backwards. <laughs> <laughs> Katie and Daniel would like to thank all you guys for joining them today to witness their solemnizing their marriage. And they would also like to especially give recognition to those who are no longer with us, but are all with us in spirit. This day has been very emotional, rushed, and I'm sure exciting. Your nerves may have been on edge, waiting for this moment, something you've been planning for for a while. The very moment that you're about to say I do to the person that you both love the most in the world. You have your closest family and friends here cheering you on as they celebrate this love between you guys. So if you would face your guests for one moment, and even though I told you to turn your cell phones off, I'm going to give you one photo op opportunity. <laughs> so get it out of your system. <laughs> and then put your cameras and phones away. <laughs> now he's cheating, he's looking over to the left here. <laughs> now you guys, Katie and Daniel, take a breath. Ground yourself in this moment. Anybody that's been through their own wedding knows how hard and difficult it is to remember the details of what happened during their ceremony because it is a very rushed and harried day. So as you ground yourself in this moment, receive the love that all these people came to bring you here because during this four or five hour reception you'll never have time to get intimate with anybody so receive that love and remember this very important moment in your lives and family and friends you're invited now to leave behind the worries and concerns of everyday life and you too be 100 percent present in our time together this evening this is an opportunity for us not only to share in the joy of Daniel and Katie's love, but also to reaffirm and appreciate the love and the friendships that we experience in our own lives. So may again we all be fully present during this short time together today. As you face each other, you're going to hold hands with a person and gaze into the eyes with a person that you've chosen to live the rest of your lives with. The rest of us are going to witness and celebrate your uniting together in marriage. This day, you're taking your first step to a new beginning, a new life together. The day, Katie, Daniel, that you both well know has just been another step in your life as partners, lovers, and now to be husband and wife. Today, you're making a public declaration of what's taken place in your hearts and to give recognition to the fact that marriage is a journey, it's not a destination. It's a lifelong commitment that takes attention, it takes nurturing throughout all your years of a lifetime together. The ability and the desire of one human being to love another is perhaps the most precious gift that's been entrusted to us. Marriage is an all-consuming task, it's a lifelong endeavor, it's a journey that many of us have been preparing for most of our lives. Loving someone is the reason to reach beyond our limits and to become more for the sake of the other. It's to look into the soul of your beloved and to accept all that you see. Loving is the ultimate commitment which challenges humans to begin to become all they are meant to be. John 15, 12 states, my command is this, love each other as I have loved you. So as you join in marriage today, Daniel, Katie, you're announcing to the world that you're welcoming this challenge. It is the desire and hope of everyone here that you have a happy and a successful marriage. But happiness in a marriage is not something that just happens. A good marriage has to be created. In the art of marriage, the little things are the big things. It's never being too old to hold hands. It's remember to say I love you at least once a day. It's never going to sleep angry. It's no time taking the other for granted. 
The courtship should not end with a honeymoon, but should continue throughout all the years. It's having a mutual sense of values and common objectives, and it's standing together facing the world. It's forming a circle of love that gathers in the entire family, and it's doing things for each other, not in the attitude of duty or sacrifice, but in the spirit of joy. It's speaking words of appreciation and demonstrating gratitude in thoughtful ways. It's not looking for perfection in each other. It's cultivating flexibility, patience, understanding, and I cannot emphasize enough a good sense of humor. It's having the capacity to forgive and to forget. And it's giving each an atmosphere in which each can grow. It's establishing a relationship in which the independence is equal. The dependence is mutual, and the obligation is reciprocal. And Daniel has that sense of humor down. <laughs> and finally, it is not only <laughs> marrying the right partner, it is being the right partner. So Daniel, Katie, by coming here today, you've reached a crossroads in your lives. You're turning away from your yesterdays, and you're looking ahead to your tomorrows. Your past becomes a distant memory your future, a waiting adventure. It's a new dawn, a new commitment, indeed a new life. The bonds that you're forging here today will change your lives. So Daniel, you take Katie to be the wife of your days, the companion of your heart, the friend of your life. Do you promise to love her, to comfort her, to honor her, and to be faithful to her for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health? forsaking all others for as long as you both shall live. I do. And Katie, you take Daniel to be the husband of your days, the companion of your heart, and the friend of your life. Do you promise to love him, to comfort him, to honor him, and to be faithful to him for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, forsaking all others for as long as you both shall live? This again is a new beginning for both of you and I'd like to take a moment just to offer a few gentle reminders to ease your lifelong task of living and growing together. Be kind to each other. When you disagree, which you will do, do so respectfully. Be gentle and forgiving to each other. When you forgive, your hearts make room for a little more love, a little more understanding, a lot more compassion communicate with each other. Share not only the joy that's in your heart, but also whatever burdens your souls. And open your hearts to each other and find the love that is there. And now at this time, I believe, Daniel, you have some special words for your bride. There have only been three things in my life that I have an absolute sure. I knew I always wanted to be a lawyer. I knew I would never be six foot two. <laughs> and right here, right now, being married to you is exactly where. I'll never forget the girl that would stay out with me at Rosie's parking lot, just talking for hours. And I thought to myself two things. This girl can out talk me, and she is special. I promise to cherish you and love you forever and always, as much as I did that life, night for the rest of my life. I promise to give myself to you selflessly like you have done constantly for me. Like when I took my LSAT and when you agreed to move with me to Louisville to help further my law career. I promise I vow to celebrate <clears throat> our greatest triumphs and should they come, our saddest defeats. I promise to be there fearlessly by your side Unless, of course, there's a spider, in which case I'll be there. <laughs> but I am still going to be pretty scared. <laughs> I promise with these rings that I'm about to put on your finger that I will give myself to you <clears throat> with undying loyalty and attempts to show you every day with my actions and my words the true gravity of how you have changed my life. Knowing that I will never ever be able to truly express how much you mean to me. I love you. Katie? Well. 
Do you need a breath? <laughs> so, look at us, standing here, loving you, even though when I first met you, I didn't meet you so <laughs> Changing words of love, maybe it's important to pain. But as long as I'm lonely, I have the ability to make it stop pain, start loving you. All of my negative feelings when I'm grumpy or sad, you have a way of turning them into joy and laughter, no matter how bad the circumstances. And that is one of the many things I love about you. So I promise to uphold that sense of humor, to stand by you, even when you're a big spider. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> I promise to be the one to try and kill the spider. <laughs> I promise to sometimes maybe shut up and let you talk. <laughs> I promise to let you be right sometimes. <laughs> I promise to support you and love you no matter where it takes us. And I promise that we will kiss you goodnight and say good morning to each other every single day. I love you. And I promise to always love you the same that I do today. Can you dry eyes? <laughs> Katie, Daniel, you're standing here holding hands. And I'd like you to focus on these hands that's holding yours. I want you to see the gift that they are to you. For these are the hands of your best friend that's holding yours on your wedding day, promising to love you and to work together with you as you build your future. These are the hands that will give you strength when you need strength, tenderness when you need tenderness, and of course love. And these are the hands that will countless times wipe tears from your eyes, tears of sorrow and tears of joy. And these are the hands that will hold all those whom you love, and these are the same hands that years from now, even if I'm wrinkled and aged, will still be reaching for your hands, still seeking the love, the encouragement, and support that each of you seeks from the other. Though we've heard their very powerful vows to each other, words once spoken are carried away with the wind. Therefore, we have the wedding band as a constant reminder of the vows that they've made to each other. May I have the rings, please? <laughs> yeah, it's quite a drop back there. <laughs> and Daniel, if you'll take her wedding band, Katie's wedding band, and place it on her left hand and point her ring forward so they can see it go on. <laughs> and simply repeat, with this ring, I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. There you go. The harder it is to get on, the harder it is to get off. <laughs> okay. And Katie, on Daniel's left hand ring finger, with this ring, I be wed. If you'll join your hands, we're going to get close to the most important part of this ceremony. May your love be one based on freedom, for though our hands may touch, it is our hearts that hold. When you hold love within your heart, you radiate a light which shall brighten all the days of your life and beyond. So take your time with each other. Let your love seed grow and mature with the seasons to provide you with warmth, serenity, joy, and acceptance throughout all the years of your marriage. Love is not a wall, it's a bridge. Love does not confine, it sets free. It leads as a pathway, winding to places unknown and mysterious. With love to light the way, you can meet any challenge together. So you have stood here, you've joined your hands, you've exchanged rings, and shared very powerful words of love and commitment to each other. So it becomes my pleasure and my privilege, by the powers vested in me by the state of Alabama, to now pronounce you husband and wife. Daniel, you may now kiss your wife. <laughs> and if you'll face your guests and get the bouquet, please. And don't run off because I have the I say pleasure, but this last name, I don't know. <laughs> Everybody welcome for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Daniel and Katie D. Gelinardo. <laughs>
let me down again. Baby, 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 try to 